Hey guys. So I was watching just moments ago uh, JD from NY206's um, daily, if not by daily, uh, off the script uh, editorials. Uh, well, he basically talked about some of the big news items that was coming out of wrestling and everything. And of course, one of the biggest ones, excuse me, there, but one of the biggest ones that he was talking about was at the end about Monday Night Raw. Now, apparently, there is a report, more, more like a prediction, by the same people that thought NBCU, Comcast, Xfinity, was going to buy WWE, but that did not happen. You know, these same people are now predicting, not straight out saying, but predicting that Monday Night Raw could end up on, the w, on a Amazon Prime. And I listened to this, and I heard what JD had to say, and he does have a point, because, you see, I do have Amazon Prime. I have that because I like to have the free shipping with you know that comes with it and everything you know when I order stuff off Amazon as well as I like to have the free you know the ad free um, streaming that you know Prime Video provides uh, the other thing too is you know like a lot of people I do have you know subscriptions to streaming services uh, but I have them scattered about I have them scattered about to where if I have the money which thankfully I have right now I can be able to handle them. I can be able to take care of them without an issue. You know, I have Netflix. I have Disney Plus. I have Apple TV. You know, like I said, I got Prime Video. Um, I have Max. I have Peacock. I have Paramount Plus. You know, I have a majority of them. Not all of them, but a majority. I have Boomerang, believe it or not. I still have that. That's still around. You know, so I have, a, I have plenty of streaming services. Uh, to choose from, along with having Movies Anywhere and Voodoo. Voodoo and Movies Anywhere, along with Prime Video and the access that I have with the movies that I buy digitally. You know, that I buy, you know, well, not just digitally, but physically, and they also come with a digital code. You know, so I have a majority of streaming services, you know, uh, plentiful, you know, if you, if you will, kind of give me a variety. But, like I said, you know, I heard what JD had to say there, and he does have a good point. He does bring up some good, you know, scenarios. You know, nowadays, you know, because a lot of people are saying this too. You know, nowadays we're paying pretty much the same amount, if not a little bit more, for streaming than we were for cable. Which basically is showing that a lot of people want to revert back to cable, you know, because even though it's expensive, you know, on a monthly basis, it's still cheaper. It's still more reasonable. But, like I said, for people like me, I have my streaming bills scattered about. So, like, you know, at the beginning of the month, I, Netflix is, like, one of my first ones I take care of. And in the middle of the month, you know, Disney Plus and such is another one I take care of, you know, and so on. But, like I said, I heard what JD had to say. And he is, he is right in, in a sense. You know, how many people that do not have Amazon Prime would be wanting to add that to the, you know, add that to the ever-growing subscription services they already have, just so they can watch Monday Night Raw, uh, Monday Night Raw on a weekly basis. Yes, it would be something huge for Amazon and WWE uh, together because WWE, you know, has been known, as JD put it, to be always wanting to uh, be the first in a lot of innovative things when it comes to pro wrestling, if not TV and sports entertainment in general. And for them to kind of be the first weekly, you know, nonstop, you know, 52, 52 to 53 weeks a year uh, program, you know, on a streaming service like Amazon Prime would definitely be a first and it would definitely, you know, set the, uh, set the bar high for anybody else that wants to follow suit. I mean, we know that NFL has Thursday Night Football, you know, at, you know once the regular season starts. And that's something that's actually helped them out in the long in the long run, I should say. It's kind of helped them out in the long run, because they don't just have it on um, Thursday nights, but you know, with some of these international games, you know, that happen as well. They also have it early Sunday mornings. The only thing I think they don't have that goes along with it is watching it on demand. Now I haven't checked that yet, but I'm pretty certain they may or may not have that on demand. You know, so you could watch it any time if you miss it. But, you know, that, that's the first step for Amazon, basically, you know, to go this route, to go the 
live event route via streaming. You know, and, and a lot of other streaming services have done it as well. You know, Peacock has done it, you know, with MLB and soccer and college football and basketball and such. You know, um, Apple TV is doing it with, you know, MLB, Peacock, MLB as well. You know, um, they might even be doing it with the UFL. You know, you get everybody's kind of getting into that into that model, if you will. Uh, but the only very temp but the only temporary, you know, they're not, you know, basically 366, 365 days a year. They're not 52 to 53 day, uh, weeks a year. You know, they're none of that. WWE is. So would that be a huge get for Amazon if they can say, hey, look what we got for a whole year plus, you know, just something that never stops? Oh, absolutely, it'd be a huge deal. Absolutely, it'd be a huge deal, especially if they add in on demand or basically watching it when, you know, people can and all that. In other words, if they keep Monday Night Raw three hours, yeah, you can on cable when you DVR it or you watch it on demand, yeah, you could pause after one hour, take a break, or take care of whatever you have to take care of, and then come back. But, you know, could you, but, you know, sometimes your service may not, you know, allow you, your cable service, it is, may not allow you to watch it on the go. Like, let's say you're traveling along, you know, on a long trip and all, and all that, and you want to catch up on Raw while you're traveling in the passenger's seat or in the back seats of your cars or on a plane. Well, guess what? Amazon Prime might give you that opportunity if they, you know, allow replay. If they allow, like, you know, uh, basically on demand, you'll catch up with it when you can. But I get where he's coming from, though. Like I said, I get where JD's coming from. Like, would people be willing to pay for that additional streaming service? And if they go the route that I go, which is the annual route, would they be wanting to pay every year a hundred plus dollars? you know, for that service, would, be, would they be willing to do that? You know, and nowadays, you know, people may not want to do that because, you know, financially they may not be able to afford it. But could Amazon Prime landing WWE Raw be a benefit? Yes. You know, yes, it could be because people, like I say, could watch it at any time if they have that on-demand feature. But more than likely, you know, Amazon might be an option it might be an option, but I think more than likely we're looking at either WBD and FX as a landing spot. If they stay on USA, that'll be a miracle, there's no doubt. Uh, you know, so that, that way WWE, with the exception of NXT, can have, you know, all the major content under run roof. The two major shows, that is, you know, outside of NXT. But, you know, could they land on Amazon Prime if they have a, no other area to go or no other place to go? Yeah. But we'll have to, you know, see what they come up with. Right now, a lot of signs are pointing towards them possibly aligning with FX, if not more so WBD. And how that affects AEW in the long run would be interesting if the WBD deal, WBD, War of Us Discovery deal, goes through. But we'll have to see. But let me know what your thoughts are. How do you feel about the possibility of WWE going to Amazon Prime if that's the uh, if that's the direction they go in? How would you feel about watching it there? You know, if it happens, and what are your thoughts if they don't, and where do you think it will go? You know, let me know down below in the comments. Live chat door to premiere, and until next time, guys, I will talk to y'all later. Take care. God bless.